it's quite clear that on yes. October 7th, a good number, we don't know what the number is, but a good number of the Israelis who were killed were not killed by Hamas. They were killed by the IDF. And I find that hardly surprising, given the nature of the fight that was taking place. It is hard to discriminate in those situations. Now, the Hannibal Doctrine is a very different matter. The argument there, or the claim there, is that what the Israelis do uh, is that if it looks like an Israeli soldier, or even an Israeli citizen, is going to be captured by Hamas or, or some other terrorist uh, group, uh, to use the Israelis' language to describe those groups, then the uh, uh, the IDF will kill those Israelis so that they don't become hostages. And, and the logic here is that uh, Israelis have such a high regard for human life that if hostages are captured, it will be almost impossible for Israel not to pay an enormous price to get those hostages back. So it's better to surreptitiously kill them, uh, better for the IDF to surreptitiously kill them uh, rather than have them become hostages. And there is a great deal of evidence that there is this Hannibal doctrine in practice inside of Israel. That's murder. I guess you could call it that. Okay. Okay.